Dear students, I am going to begin with you the discussion regarding the normal distribution. One of the most important distributions in the theory of probability and statistics. As it is a continuous distribution, I will be talking about the probability density function and then I will proceed to uh, the cumulative distribution function. And of course, I will discuss with you the shape of the PDF as well as the CDF. So let us begin. What is the basic definition of the normal distribution? It goes as follows. A random variable x is said to have a normal distribution if its PDF is given by f of x is equal to 1 over sigma under root 2 pi multiplied by e raised to minus half x minus mu over sigma whole square. And with this, we write minus infinity less than x less than infinity. And we also write sigma is greater than zero. Ab ye jo kuch maine kaha, students, is pe zara step by step gaur karte hain. Pehli baat ye ke PDF maine aapko diya. It is a continuous distribution extending from, as I just indicated, minus infinity to plus infinity. Yani, it covers the entire x axis. Agli baat ke iska jo bada bazahir complicated sa expression hai, iske PDF ka, uske andar agar aap ghor se dekhe, to there are two parameters, mu and sigma. It can be proved that mu is actually the mean of this distribution and sigma is the standard deviation. Standard deviation, aap jante hain ke it is always uh, positive or let me say non-negative. It can never be negative. So that is why I said about a minute ago that with uh, this equation, we will write sigma is greater than zero. Mu ke liye maine aasi koi baat nahi kahi. Mu can be any real number. Mu can be negative, it can be zero, or it can be positive. Achha, ab agli baat ye dekhe, ke, jaysa aap pehle hi keh rahe hai, ke this is um, quite a complicated expression. Well, uh, this is what it is, and you know, the sooner you get used to it, the better. Uh, Gauss is the mathematician who derived this distribution uh, so many centuries ago or this distribution ke saath Laplace ka naam bhi liya jata hai. Lekin sawal hi paida hota hai ke why is it called the normal distribution? Um, the reason is that a wide variety of real life data sets have been modeled by this distribution. It is a beautiful bell-shaped curve extending from minus infinity to infinity. As you can see on the screen, it is absolutely symmetric. And as I said, a large number of real life phenomena, real life variables, um, their numerical values when we draw their histogram, the histogram turns out to be similar, quite similar in shape to the normal distribution. So that is why this particular distribution was called the normal distribution. Yani, unhone kaha ki ye to aksar istamal hoti hai. It is usual. It is normal. So that is why it was given the name normal distribution. However, it is also known as the Gaussian distribution in honor of 
Gauss, who is also called the Prince of Mathematicians. Acha, iski bahut si properties hain. I mean, there are quite a number of properties. Lekin abhi is vak, I will not be talking about other properties as much, except these two, which are visible, which are very quickly understandable. The first one, that the normal curve is asymptotic to the x-axis. Ab is loves ka kya matlab hai? What do we mean by the word asymptotic? Dekhiye baat ye hai ke, jaisa ke aap dekh rahe hai, it is a beautiful bell-shaped curve. Ab agar hum plus infinity ki taraf move kare, to ye jo curve hai, it gets closer and closer to the x-axis, but it does not touch the x-axis. Aisi situation mein hum kehte hai, ke the curve is asymptotic to the x-axis. Wo uske kareeb hoti chali jati hai, lekin it doesn't touch it. Maybe it will touch when we reach infinity, lekin zahir hai ke hum infinity tak reach nahi kar paate. Similarly, the same story on the left side. Yani, as we move toward minus infinity, again we note that the curve gets closer and closer to the x-axis, but it does not touch it. So, ye ho gai pehli property, ke ye jo normal curve hai, that is asymptotic to the x-axis on both sides. Ek aur property jo kafi jaldi se aap samaj jayenge, that is that the maximum ordinate, which can also be called the modal ordinate, this is equal to 1 over sigma square root of 2 pi. Achha, isko ab zara samajhne ki koshish karte hain. Dekhye, baat ye hai ke jaise aapne dekha, it is absolutely symmetric. To jo absolutely symmetric hoti hai, uska mean kahan pe hota hai? Obviously, it is that point on the x-axis about which we have the symmetry. So, that point hai, that is what we are calling mu. It is the mean of the distribution. From the shape of the curve, you can see that this is also the mode of the distribution. Because continuous curve jab hoti hai, to mode konsa point hota hai? Wohi point hota hai na, where we have the tallest, uh, where the curve is tallest. So that is the mode also. And in fact, even that same point is also the median of the distribution because 50% of the area lies to its left and 50% to its right. Kyunke left side jo hai, that is the mirror image of the right hand side. Lekin is vakt mein median wali baat pe itna focus nahi karna chaati. I would like to bring you back to this property that I just now mentioned. That the maximum ordinate, wo jo height hai, the modal ordinate. Mode is mu, uske against jo height hai, that is equal to 1 over sigma square root of 2 pi. To ye kaise hua? Well, it is very, very simple. Just have a look again at the PDF of the distribution. Ye PDF to hai, f of x is equal to 1 over sigma under root 2 pi multiplied by e raised to something. Ab ye jo e raised to something hai, agar ye 1 ke barabar ho jai, this whole thing, to baaki kya bachega? 1 over sigma under root 2 pi. To ye kab hoga? If we put x equal to mu in this PDF, what do we get? We get f of x likha hai na, to ab kya ho jayega? f of mu. f of mu, yani the ordinate against the point mu is equal to 1 over sigma under root 2 pi multiplied by e raised to minus half mu minus mu over sigma whole square. Kyunki x ki jaga mu rakhtiya. So, mu minus mu, 0. 
zero over sigma, zero, zero square, zero, and minus half into zero, zero. So e raised to zero is one. So jo baki hai one over sigma under root two pi, that is f of mu, yani the ordinate, the tallest ordinate, the ordinate above the point mu. Iske baad, I would like to talk about the CDF, the cumulative distribution function of the normal distribution. My dear students, this can be expressed as follows. Capital F of X is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus earth of X minus mu over sigma into square root of 2. And this holds for all values of x from minus infinity to plus infinity. Above so tray hungeke, what is erf? Well, this is the error function. It's called the error function, and the formula is as follows: erf of z is equal to 2 over square root of pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to z of e raised to minus t square with respect to t. Iske baad, let us uh, look at the graph of the CDF. As you can see on the screen, like every other uh, CDF, the graph starts from level 0 and it rises up to level 1. Lekin, aap jante hain ke Bazokat in some situation we can have a straight line going from zero to one, a straight line at a certain angle, and in some other situation we can have a parabolic kind of curve going from zero to one. But for the normal distribution, as you can see on the screen, it is a beautiful S shaped curve. Or isme jo baat note karne ki hai, wo ye hai. कि वो जो S शेप है, जहाँ पे उसकी direction change होती है, that point is directly above mu. mu की जो भी value रखेंगे, उसके directly above वो point आपको मिलेगा in the graph of the CDF, जहाँ पे वो जो S shaped curve है, उसकी direction change होती है. So just like the graph of the PTF, which is a beautiful bell-shaped curve, the graph of the CTF of the normal distribution is also very attractive. So this distribution, my dear students, as I said in the beginning, is one of the most important distributions for the simple reason that numerous multifarious phenomena are like this that when we collect data on these phenomena and we draw the histogram, the shape of the histogram is very similar to the shape of the normal curve. And that is why the normal curve is suitable for modeling those particular variables by this distribution. This is the introduction to the normal distribution.